At the Sufferance of Men is a video by Cheeky Bastard. Linked in the low bar, it ought to be seen by a hundred million people, in my opinion. In less than 14 minutes, he nails it. Feminists will hate it. Those who would divide us to conquer us will hate it. Every MRA, every MGTOW, every Libertarian, every Alt-Right, and every TradCon should see it. It's that good. Now a word about contemptible behavior. A few months back, Howard Dare lashed out at Sandman and Turd Flinging Monkey for not giving him a shout-out. As it happened, I had given him a shout-out two or three weeks before then. I posted a comment to that effect on his video. I haven't been back since. Nobody owes anybody a shout-out. Now, maybe he knows something I don't. Back then, he had fewer subscribers than I do. Now he has probably five times as many. So attacking Sandman and TFM served him well. It was the pragmatic thing to do. But it wasn't the principled thing to do. In fact, it was the kind of thing you expect from a social justice warrior. Praise is a gift. Only girls and narcissists demand gifts. Real men appreciate praise sincerely offered, but would never demand it. From the start, I considered Howard's videos marginal at best. They were short on facts and analysis, long on blah blah blah. Well, maybe that's what most people want. It doesn't interest me. But I appreciated his effort and made a gift of my praise for it. All my goodwill evaporated, however, when he attacked the best among us for not gifting him their praise. He gained a lot of subscribers as a result. Good for him. He lost mine. But Cheeky Bastard has definitely earned my praise, as has Tom Sequitur, also linked below. I hope you'll check them out. And I also hope you'll check out Burn Chapin's book, Man Going His Own Way. Aaron Clary reviewed it recently. He beat me to it, but I'll get a review out here shortly. I hope you'll read it. As Burn says, listen to the eagle, read the book.